Hi, I'm Phil and welcome to Holy Habitus and a Happy New Year to you. My prayer is that 2015 will be a year in which we all encounter God anew and afresh and grow more into the likeness of Christ, in which our habitus becomes increasingly holy for his glory. Now, New Year is a time where we celebrate fresh starts and new beginnings. Sometimes we make resolutions, don't we? And I think there's something nice about that. The full year rotation of seasons has come to an end and a new start has happened. And the landscape outside looks like a blank page and a new start and the fresh spring, uh, the shoots are coming up of spring and, and we feel like that, that, that need to start again. And I think there's something good about that in a spiritual sense as well. Um, one of my heroes is St. Francis. He lived a life of radical discipleship, almost to the point of making people around him blush. And I was talking to a Franciscan friar in our town recently, and he said that what, one of the things that Francis said to his brothers towards the end of his life uh, was this, let us begin again, for up until now we've done nothing. Let us begin again, for up until now we have done nothing. Now that must have been really annoying for the people around him who'd given up everything and come and followed the way of Christ uh, through Francis. And, uh, but that's what he said. He said, let's begin again, let's start fresh, because we've done nothing up to now. And a few days later, after I had that conversation, I, I read something in the sayings of the Desert Fathers. And there was one of them called Pambo, great name, a bit like Rambo, only Pamia. Uh, and he said this, um, that on his deathbed, he said to the holy men standing round, from the time that I came into this solitude and built my cell and lived in it, I do not remember having eaten anything I have not worked for. I have not said anything that I regretted saying, but still I go to the Lord as one who has not yet made a beginning in the service of God. Isn't that great? Isn't that fabulous? Oh, somebody who's lived their whole life full throttle for Jesus and yet still saying, I'm a learner, I'm a beginner, I'm a student, I'm a, just a disciple of Jesus. I haven't even begun to live a life of service to God. I think that's fabulous. And, and sometimes our culture, we're all about attainment and achievement. And I have this diploma and this certificate and, uh, and I've achieved this and look at my resume, it's fantastic. And actually for the disciple of Jesus, our resume really is a blank sheet of paper because it's more about the work of God and the grace that's expressed through Jesus Christ than about anything we've achieved. And actually that's quite a liberating thing a freeing thing to say actually it doesn't matter about that it's about God and so I'm just making a beginning again this year and so I, I, I pray let's just uh, maybe you can get a blank piece of paper and present it to God as a symbol and as a prayer and say Lord this year is a, a fresh sheet a new start you write on it what you want to achieve through me what you want to achieve and I'll follow you anywhere